Hello chess friends and welcome in this new video in which I'm going to analyze the game between the Grandmaster Richard Rapport against the International Master Vincent K. Kamer. I hope that pronounce is correct, but let's go to see the game. The game was very interesting and uh, the prodigy um, Kamer won the tournament with this victory against Rapport with black pieces. Fantastic result for him because he also got the uh, Grandmaster Norm at age of 13, May 14. So very very young player let's see the game so d4 d5 c4 e6 so queen's gambit declined and knight c3 knight f6 so black played very solid game with bishop e7 i also played this structure so very solid opening and now e3 h6 bishop h4 usually it's better keep the bishop for the for white so it's okay play the bishop there and castle. Rook c1. Yeah, the idea about rook c1 is uh, that sometimes white wants to open this file. So after cd5, white can have pressure on the c file. So black play knight d7 to develop all the pieces. And then c takes d5, e takes d5, and bishop d3. c6. Bishop g3. Uh, bishop g3 looks a strange move, but it's a logical choice by rubber because white wants to keep pieces usually if your plan is uh, uh okay if you play for a win uh, it's very important for you keep more pieces in the game and don't allow a lot of trades in this case uh rapport played bishop g3 because uh, if white goes with the simple and the most common knight f3 uh, probably it was carried about knight e4 bishop e7 queen e7 so it doesn't like to trade pieces and for this reason he played bishop g3 so after after that bishop g3 and now king knight e4 doesn't work because in this case i can simply take the knight the reason that this cover attacking is the bishop on h4 so that's the difference between the two positions and now rook e8 now we know the next move is develop this knight but what happens if you develop the knight immediately if you play immediately knight f3 the problem is again that black can trade pieces playing knight h5 and we know that white doesn't like to trade pieces and for this reason white played the h3 in this case after knight f3 and knight h5 bishop can go on h2 and white can avoid this trade and now black went with bishop b4 uh, now bishop b4 is good because when black moves knight d4 black can win a tempo attacking the bishop so that's a very interesting idea for black in this case Knight f3, knight e4. Bishop f4 because the bishop was under attack. It's also possible bishop takes e4, but in this kind of position, usually the bishop, the light bishop, is the good bishop, so it's not so good because after rook takes, or maybe, or maybe also take on c3 first, and after rook takes c3, rook takes c4. Yeah, I think black. As an easy position, the knight can go simply to f6, the bishop can be developed on f5, so it's um, okay, equal, but okay for black. So for this reason now, after knight e4, bishop f4, c5, white played castle. Bishop takes c3, pawn takes c3, and knight b6. I think that in this position also c4 was fine, probably was also better c4. Because black idea is play c4, and I think he can play c4 immediately without big problems. So c4, maybe bishop b1, and then and then b5. The idea can be b5, a5, b4. This plan looks very interesting for, for black. In the game, black played knight b6. That the idea is sometimes go to a4, not immediately because there is the queen, but the idea is stop block the pawn on c3 and then go to attack this pawn so the knight on b6 can be useful to sometimes prepare knight a4 knight e5 um, and the white starts his attack um, i think c4 my move is more precise because if we play c4 it's harder for white to start the attack with knight e5 because the knight on d7 can block the square we can say but playing knight b6 maybe white can have an interesting attack and black is forced to weaken his structure for example black now played f6 knight g4 and c4 and h5 
knight h2 and now g5 that's a very interesting idea because i think black calculated that he can win a piece for sure white has a very nice counter play because the black king is very weak in this position but a piece is a piece and if black can defend this position can be interesting in, in this case so after g5, bishop g3 doesn't work because if bishop g3 there is h4 and black can always win a piece. So now white is forced to sacrifice the piece. Queen h5, g4, f3. Knight must go away, so knight on d6 and queen h7. King f8 and queen h6, king e7. So, okay, black is a piece up but black has a lot of problems because this king is not so, it's not so safe in this position. But he has a piece and he can try to defend. So king e6, rook e1. Very strong move, rook e1, because white wants to involve another piece against the black king. And then rook e7. Queen g4 check, f5, bishop takes f5, knight takes f5, and queen g6. Um, probably here was more precise play e4. The idea is that white can add the attacker the rook because in this case white can take with the pawn that's a very interesting idea because in this case white can open a file and the attack, the, uh, the attack against the skin can be stronger this was a problem in this position so e4 was an improvement in this case to have an, an extra attacker uh, in the game um rapport played queen g6 check and then queen f5 check and then he took the pawn so it's true that he took the pawn, but now all the white files are blocked and there is no way to add pressure against the king. So it's the black turn. Black can counterplay against the white king. This was the topic of the game. Because white now has three pawns against the piece, so both material is fine. But the problem is that after a few moves, black can complete his development. And then white has big problems because after e4, queen g8, black is ready to... Involve all the pieces. Okay, now king cf7 because the bishop is spinned, so it's important for him to remove the spin. And then rook f8, so black wants to add a new rook. Rook e2. And that's a problem. So. So rook h7. Queen d2. And now you see all the pieces are involved into the attack, the rook, the queen, and the other rook. So, black is up a piece, so black attack is nice, it's strong. Um, for example, the knight on h2, it's a uh, very passive, knight g4 is not possible because, oh, I mean, if king, now black is black move, sorry, so king b8 was played, if knight g4 now, it doesn't work because we can simply take, and then take, and we can exploit the pin, for example, so... That's a problem. Um, and uh, after that, white is without open file. So let's see if rook b1 to attack the king is too late, I think. Because black can under pressure and after maybe queen c2. And a4. Black has always this sacrifice here, so I think white has not enough time to counterplay on the queen side in this case. For this reason, black position is better, and after that, white play rook e1, d takes e4, pawn takes e4, bishop d7. To don't give tempos pushing the pawns, that's the idea, so rook f2. And now very important, now it's possible for black to the rook, but in this case we say that the enemy king is weaker, so it's much better don't trade the pieces because now black is the attacker and black played rook e8. If e5, no problem because after e5 there is bishop c6 and the bishop is improved. That's a good thing. Um, if for example d5, then c3 pawn is quite weak. So we can sometimes play queen h8. Let's see if... Yeah, queen h8 is good to make pressure against c3 and then attack the pawn. So queen f4 check, king 8 and knight f3. So white tries to improve the knight, to involve the knight in the game, but rook f8. Queen back and knight a4. So 
the white pieces are blocked and black is trying to take advantage of it attacking the c3 pawn but white can defend a6 and now in this difficult position um rapport made a mistake he played the queen e5 it's a uh, classical when your position it's uh, difficult also strong players make big mistakes like that because uh, i think he overlooked the move bishop h3 and now black is winning after bishop h3 not defense for white white played king g1 because if it takes there is rook h3 rook h2 and rook g3 very nice the is attack the knight and mate if the rook goes somewhere maybe here there is simply you take the the, the rook simply so and um there is no defense because if rook h8 simply mate with the rook g1 check king h2 rook g2 king h2 and sorry king h1 and the rook f1 chicken mate so no way to defend well this position so bishop h3 is winning king g1 was tried by white but rook g2 and g2 pawn is a problem now knight h4 to defend the pawn rook takes f2 king takes f2 and this knight sacrifice so rook takes g2 and after that no way because okay now black has two minor pieces for the rook but the problem is that after bishop g4 there is the main threat why so try this move but after that check and now white resigns because no way to save the rook the rook is lost and also black has very interesting made threat so the game is completely lost so now rapper resigns and Kamer won his game with the black pieces winning the tournament the grand kid chess open 2018 so very great result because he won the first prize so incredible result by a very very um, prodigy um i hope that you enjoyed my analysis um if you have questions feel free to comment below and I'll see you soon for new videos thank you again bye